This is my daughter. Hi. Oh, hello. And how much time do you have left to talk? I have two hours left. Perfect. I've been dying to get to know my future stepdaughter. And that's how I met your daddy. Wow, that was a really long story. I know, and I haven't even let you talk. Go on, it's your turn. Well, I'd like to play. Oh, no. Are you all out of talking time? Well, there's always tomorrow. Ten minutes? Are you kidding me? And till Ingrid breakfast is ready. Hey, Ingrid, my dad wanted me to... Yes, and the best thing is he's filthy rich. <laughs> no, he doesn't suspect a thing. <gasps> How long were you standing there for? You little gold digger. I'm telling my dad. Dad, you won't believe what I just heard Ingrid saying. I told you to get her. Her breakfast is getting cold. No, forget about her breakfast, okay? Ingrid is a... A what, Anne? Spit it out. Oh, boy, you're out of talking time, aren't you? Did I hear Anne is all out of speaking time? Yeah, poor thing barely got to talk at all today. Wait, Anne, just text me what you want to say. What's the matter? Don't tell me you forgot to charge your phone again. You're kidding me. Anne, that's not really responsible behavior. I agree. But hey, I gotta go to work, so text me once you charge your phone. Hello, Anne. I'm really sorry, but I can't let you do that. Don't worry, I'll keep it safe. Why didn't you text me? Dad, she took my iPhone and my iPad. You did? Oh, would you look at that? She found another way to communicate. And yes, I did, because I caught her watching some inappropriate videos. Anne, is that true? She won't admit it, darling, but I did catch her, and she really needs some discipline. <gasps> oh! Anne, that's it. You're grounded. Get out of here. Ingrid, I'm so sorry. This behavior is not like her. Don't worry about it, darling. I think I do know where you can make it up to me, though. <laughs> Let's start by getting that shirt off of you. Yes! Oh my gosh, she is so busted. Dad, guess what? I got five hours of talking time today. You better be using that time to apologize to Ingrid. No, Dad, there's something that I need to tell you. No, first eat your breakfast. You have plenty of time to talk. Okay, I finished my food. Can I please talk to you now? Okay, but thank Ingrid for the breakfast. Wait. Do you need this? Yes, even after you were so disrespectful to her. So I want an apology to her first, and then we'll talk. No, Dad, wait. <laughs> Don't give me that little laugh. I have five hours of talking time, so my dad is going to find out exactly what you... Exactly what you... Are you okay, Anne? Uh, there you go. Now just rest, darling. You sure she's all right? Yes, I think it's just a bad flu bug. Don't worry, I'll watch over her while you're at work. Oh, thank goodness you're up. Dad? Yeah, hey, how are you feeling? What time is it? It's 4 p.m. You were asleep for almost the whole day. Luckily, Ingrid watched over you. Ingrid? Ingrid did this to me. She... Oh, you're all out of talking time. Oh, you want your phone? Well, sweetheart, Ingrid accidentally broke it. But don't worry, I'm going to get you a new one. Also, don't freak out, but we moved our wedding date up to next weekend. Look, I know this is a lot to take in, but the venue that we wanted had an opening, and we just had to take this opportunity. All right, this time, no messing around. Dad, Ingrid is a liar, and you won't believe what she's hiding from you. Sweetheart, I think I know what you're talking about. You do? Yep, she told me the news this morning. Yes, darling, I told him I'm pregnant. What? I'm so happy for us, Ingrid. Anne's always talking about how she wanted a little sibling. This isn't over, Ingrid. Really? Because I think it is. Face it, darling, I have your daddy wrapped around my little finger. And if you cause any more trouble, I'll convince him to ship you off to boarding school. <laughs> Here, Anne, take out the trash. Your daddy and I are going golfing. <sighs> Seriously? Wait a minute, is this her pregnancy test? That little liar, she's not even pregnant. Oh, it's time to expose her. But what better time to do that than her wedding day? Oh, this is ridiculous. What's the matter? I only got three hours of talking time. Oh, I'm sure that won't be a problem. Listen here, you little brat. If you do anything today to ruin my wedding, you'll regret it. I'm almost out of talking time. What if I can't say I do? Ingrid, it's going to be okay. 
Yeah, and if you can't talk, you can always just nod. That'll work just fine. Yeah, exactly. Darling, could I speak to Anne alone for a moment? I know you're planning to ruin my wedding. I can sense it. Oh, Ingrid, I would never do such a thing. Then why do you seem so damn happy? Because I know that you're not really pregnant. Oh, I see. So you're going to try and expose me. Well, do you really think your daddy will believe you? Yes, I do, because I have proof. Really? Well, would it happen to be on this phone? How did you... Ingrid, it's time for the wedding. Coming, darling. Now why don't you just fetch? No! Thank goodness it's not broken. No. She locked me in here? Oh no, it looks like they're already reading their vow. I have to pick this lock. I saw this used in a movie once, so uh, let's hope it works. Does anyone have any objections to this marriage? I do. No! Anne, what? Ingrid told me you were sick. Yeah, well, that's not the only thing she's lied to you about. She's also not even pregnant. What? Darling, don't listen to her. She obviously doesn't want us to get married. Really? Then what do you call this little recording of yourself? If you do anything to ruin my wedding, you'll regret it. Why would you talk to Anne like that? Darling, I can explain. I... Oops, looks like Ingrid's out of talking time. Good, because I don't want to be interrupted when I say this. Ingrid, you and I are over. Oh! I'm so sorry, Anne. I had no idea Ingrid did all those things to you. It's okay. No, this is my fault. I should have listened more to you. I promise you, from here on out, things will be different. Happy birthday, sweetie. Thank you, Grandpa. Honey, wait. You'll have to wait until you're 18 to open it. But why can't I open it now? Because this is a special gift. You have to wait, okay? Happy 12th birthday, sweetie. Thanks, Grandpa. Can I open my gift now? No, I tell you every year. You have to wait until you turn 18 to open it, okay? Okay. Happy 15th birthday. Thank you. Guess what? What? Only three years left and then you get to open your gift. Um, yeah, I guess. Giselle, you're 18 tomorrow. You'll finally be able to open your gift. Are you excited? I don't know. I mean, I've been waiting for so long. I don't even know if I want to open it. You have to, and you need to let me know what it is as soon as you open it. Yeah, I will. Happy 18th birthday, honey. You get to open it. Grandpa, what is this? Happy 18th birthday. You can open it now. Grandpa, what is this? Sweetie, I don't feel so good. Grandpa, are you okay? Just go call an ambulance, please. Hi, yes, 911. It's my grandpa. We'll be there as fast as we can. Just sit tight. Excuse me, miss. Are you Giselle? Hi. Um, yes. My grandpa. Is he gonna be okay? I'm so sorry, sweetie. We did everything we could. He's gone. I'm really sorry about your grandpa. Thanks. At least you got to open your gift with him. My gift? Yeah. So, what was it? I don't really know. It's a note. Well, if it was a note, I really think you should go read it. What? It's just a phone number. Hey, um, Becky? Did you end up opening the gift? Yeah, I did. What was it? It's just a phone number. A phone number? Yeah. I don't get it. Why would my grandpa make me wait until I turn 18 to open up a phone number? Are you going to call it? No, are you crazy? I don't know who's going to pick up. Giselle, I really think you should call it. You know what? I think I'm going to call it. Okay, go ahead. Hello? Who is this? Um, this is Giselle. Where did you get this number? My grandpa gave it to me. I need you to meet me at this address, and I need you to come alone. Okay. The person gave me an address. Good morning, honey. Good morning, mom. What's this? Oh, that's the percentage of how much someone loves you. Wait, so you love me 100%? 
Of course I do, honey. You're my daughter. Hey, bestie. Hey, Jess. You only love me 10%? You're supposed to be my best friend. What do you mean? Of course I love you more than that. I can't believe you. Hey, babe. Hey, Jake. Gee, if your love for me is that low, why are you dating me? What are you talking about? You know what? I don't even care. It's over. There you are. Can we talk? Jessica, I already told you. I don't want to talk to you. Wait, I figured it out. Your mom lied to you. That's not how much someone loves you. It's how much they hate you. Giselle, there you are. Can we talk? <laughs> Jessica, I already told you. I don't want to talk to you. Wait, I figured it out. Your mom lied to you. It's not how much someone loves you. It's how much they hate you. You're making that up. My mom would never lie to me. No, I'm telling you the truth. Okay, look, I don't understand. Why would she lie? I have no idea, but I promise you I was telling the truth. I'm gonna go talk to her. I'll call you later. Mom? Honey, you're home. Can I talk to you for a second? Yes, of course. About what? Is it true that you lied to me about the percentage? No, I would never lie to you. So you're telling me that that is not a hate percentage, that's a love percentage? Okay, yes, I lied to you. Why would you lie to me? I broke up with my boyfriend and I almost lost my best friend. Well, why do you think mine is on 100%? Come on, give me something cool. I can see people's locations. Well, that's a bit boring, isn't it? Hey, Mom. So, what did you get, sweetie? I can see people's locations. Can you check where your brother is for me? Sure. Where is my brother? It says he's at Jackson's house. At Jackson's house? He's supposed to be at school. Gotta go, Mom. Hey, Giselle, can you see people's locations? Yeah, I can. Can you please look to see where my boyfriend is? Of course. Where's Isabel's boyfriend? It says he's at Olivia's house. Olivia's house? I knew he was cheating on me. Mom, I'm home. Honey, please check to see where your dad is. Yeah. Where's my dad? It says he's getting sushi. Hey, guys, I'm home. Dad, you're supposed to be getting sushi. What do you mean? No, I'm not. Mom, I'm home. Honey, please check to see where your dad is. Yeah. Where is my dad? It says he's getting sushi. Hey guys, I'm home. Dad? You're supposed to be getting sushi. What do you mean? No, I'm not. Hey mom, can I talk to you alone for a second? Sure, honey. What did you want to talk about, sweetie? Are you sure that's really dad? Of course it is. What do you mean? His location says he's still getting sushi. It's probably just a glitch. I can't deal with this right now. I have to go finish dinner. Now he's on his way home. You know what? Maybe the thing was glitching. Where is my dad? In trouble? Dad? Giselle, get your mom and get out of the house. You two are in trouble. The man there is not me. You know what? Maybe the thing was glitching. Where is my dad? He's in trouble? Dad? Giselle, get your mom and get out of the house now. You two are in trouble. The man there is not me. What do you mean it's not... Mom? Sweetie, you're just in time for dinner. Actually, can I talk to you first? Can it wait till after we've eaten? No, it can't. This is important. Fine, but make it quick. So, what's this about? Mom, we have to get out of here now. What do you mean? Why? The man in the kitchen is not Dad. Giselle, you're being ridiculous. Of course it's Dad. No, it's not. Because Dad just called me and told me we need to leave. Is this another one of your silly jokes? I don't have time for this. No, Mom, I'm not. Look. Where is Dad? Hey, what's going on in here? I'm starving. So, what's this about? Mom, we have to get out of here now. What do you mean? Why? The man in the kitchen is not dad. You're being ridiculous. Of course it's dad. No, it's not, because dad just called me and told me we need to leave. Giselle, is this another one of your silly jokes? I don't have time for this. No, mom, I'm not. Look. Where is dad? What are you two doing? I'm starving.
Me and Giselle are just about done here. Let's go sit the table. Mmm, honey, the food was so good. Giselle, aren't you going to thank your mom for the food? Yeah. Thanks, mom. Giselle, can I talk to you? Alone? What did you want to talk about? I know you know I'm not your dad. And I want to know how you found out. You better not say another word to your mom. You're not going to hurt us, are you? I won't hurt you if you cooperate with me. The outcome depends on you. Do you understand? Understood. Only one? He's so innocent. I love him. Two at once? It's okay. It's okay. I am not judging. Not Three at once? When we finally meet, him and I are gonna have to have a little chat about this one. My soulmate's body count is six. I mean, it's not that bad. It could be worse. That's horrible. Absolutely crazy. Is that crazy? How much is your soulmate's body count? Zero. Um, zero? Calm down, guys. It's 2021. There's nothing wrong with being a little promiscuous. Their body count isn't how many they've been with, it's how many they've killed. What? I can't believe it. I can't believe my soulmate is a killer. Calm down. Just breathe. You'll probably never even have to meet him. You know, it's honestly offensive that the universe thinks I belong with somebody like that. Let's get our mind off things. Let's watch TV. Breaking news, the Cheerios Bandit is on the loose. What kind of name is that? The Cheerios Bandit? He already has over 10 bodies. Speech? What's this? It's a new thing started by the government. You're given a certain amount of words a day, and you must use all of them, or else. Well, I only have 18 words today. That shouldn't be hard to use. Brianna, how many words do you need to use today? 18. Wow, you're so lucky. I got 5,000 words I have to use today, so I have to talk super fast, and I have to use lots and lots of words. Talk, 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 talk. Can't stop talking, can't stop talking. The day is almost done. Did you use all your words? Yes. These are my last words, too. Oh, no, 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 Honey, what's wrong? I got 100,000 words to use today. How can I use all those words? You'll have to try your best. I only had 55 words, now I have so many. I lost my voice talking so much yesterday. I won't be able to use all my words. No, no, you can do it. You can. I can hardly talk. I want to switch my words back. Hello? The government? Are you there? God? Christy, keep on trying to talk. The day is not over yet. I, I can't. Christy, I'm so sorry. I love you. It's okay. It's not your fault. I heard from your best friend's mom she passed away. She couldn't use all her words. Are you okay? Yeah. I'll be okay. Hmm. Your soulmate heart magnet came in. Yay! This isn't a heart. It will only make a heart with your soulmate. The magnetic force will pull you towards him, helping you find your soulmate. Wow. All right, kids. Time to finger paint. Yay! My heart necklace is making a noise. It's the magnetic force pulling you towards your soulmate. Ah! Oh. Your soulmate must have been somewhere close. Too bad there was a wall in the way. What's going on? My soulmate must be near. Take me to him. Hey, Bree, where are you off to? Can I come with? My necklace is taking me to my soulmate. Ah! Why is it pulling me to the floor? 
girl, are you okay? I found the other half of my necklace. I didn't find him. Oh no, your soulmate must have lost his necklace. I found the other half of my necklace. 快手, Oh no, your soulmate must have lost his necklace. We have to find out who it is. I need to make an announcement. No, you will not. Attention everyone, there has been a missing soulmate heart magnet found in the hallway. If anyone is missing their soulmate magnet, come to the office immediately. Give that back to me. You are in big trouble. I heard you guys found a soulmate magnet. I lost mine. Really? You must be my soulmate then. Yeah, I lost it back when I was six years old. Six? What? My soulmate would have lost his magnet in high school, not when he was six. No one else has been bored for missing magnet. Maybe I'll never find my soulmate. I hear a soulmate magnet was found. I lost mine last time I was here visiting the school. <gasps> the prince is your soulmate! You're my soulmate? Okay, what do you choose? Uh, I choose snow, because I want to be just like mommy. Aw, good choice, honey. Don't you worry, I'll teach you how to use your powers. Mom, please don't leave me. Take this, honey, so that a part of me will always be with you. Alicia, meet your new stepmom, Greta. What a pleasure it is to meet- Oh! My hand! I'm so sorry, I- I didn't mean to. My hand, it's blue! Go to your room. Is she going to be okay? She has frostbite, but it's mild. Are those the gloves I gave you? Good. Keep them on until you can get your powers under control. Darling! She could have killed me. I am so sorry. Her powers, they've been going haywire ever since her mother passed. Well, she is a danger to all of us. She should be locked in that room. No, I couldn't do that to her. Don't you care about me? Greta, of course I do. Then it's settled. She won't ever leave that room. Here's your breakfast, princess. Oh, thank you. <gasps> You took off your gloves? Uh, yeah, just for a second, though. Oh my gosh, uh, stay back. I'm gonna leave the food right here. Wait! Hey, Alicia, can I come in? I don't know, can you? Because it doesn't seem like anyone else is allowed in here. I'm sorry, but I can't have you hurting people with your powers. I won't. I can control them now. Okay, then, make a single snowflake. Just one? Uh-huh, like how your mother used to. See, it's all right. You can't do it. But I can learn. I know you will. But until then, you have to stay in here. Dad, please. Put your gloves back on, all right? I'll be back to check on you later. If no one's even allowed near me, what's the point of wearing these anyways? I have to get out of here. Here's your lunch, princess. <gasps> hey! Guards, stop her! She froze my feet to the floor. Put your gloves back on, princess. So you guys can keep me locked in here? I don't think so. Ooh. Ooh. Hey! Stop her! I made it. I'm... I'm free. But where will I go? Mom always said that I could create anything that I imagined, so why don't I just make a place for myself to live? Stop it. You got this. It's working! Whoa, I can't believe I made this place. I mean, it's not exactly perfect, but it'll do. I just feel like I'm gonna get a little bit lonely in here, so maybe I can make myself some sort of a pet. I've always wanted a dog. Oh, I think I'll call you Snowball. Well, well. Greta, what are you doing here? I'm here to bring you home. This is my home now. I think it's time I showed you my little secret. You have powers? Yes, I was a princess after all. Guess which one I chose? Why don't I just show you? you oh, thank goodness it's only one. I don't want to have any competition. A thousand? How does he even know a thousand people? A hundred thousand? This can't be right. What's wrong? I don't know. Maybe it's just that a hundred thousand people are simping over my soulmate. Whoa, a hundred thousand? Mine is none. Oh, well you're lucky then. One million? Oh wow, he must be famous. I know. I gotta find him before those girls do. He's my soulmate. I have to be the one he chooses. Okay, so what are we thinking? Is he like worldwide famous or social media famous? Hmm. Two million? He's getting more famous and more simps by the minute. 
I should give up. I'm never gonna find him, and if I do, how am I gonna compete with two million girls? You can't give up. That's your soulmate. I'm so sorry. Watch where you're going, nerd. E excuse me, nerd? Who do you think you are? How about you watch your manners next time? I'll do as I please. OMG, I can't believe you talked him that way. Do you know who he is? No, and I don't think I want to. He's kind of a jerk. He's low-key social media famous. He has over 2 million followers on TikTok. What? Bestie, I think I found my soulmate. <laughs> That's great. Why are you upset? Because he's an entitled TikTok influencer. Come on, give him a chance. Ask him out on a date. You might change your mind. You're right. I need to know if he's truly my soulmate. Hey. Hey, nerd. So, I think he might be my soulmate. Let me explain. My soulmate has over 2 million people crushing on them, and you have over 2 million followers on TikTok. So I just need to go on a date with you to test if this theory is true or not. So you like me? No, I never said that. I said that you might be my soulmate. Makes sense. My soulmate has zero crushes. Then it must not be me, because I would have way more than that. I don't think so. You want to go on a date or not? Sure, I'll pick you up at 11. Alright. Sounds good. See you then. Oh, that must be him. Hey. Wow, you look beautiful. I, I do? Yeah, I mean, for a nerd. We had a moment there, and you ruined it. Let's go. This is a really nice place you brought me. Isn't it? It's one of my favorites. What's wrong? Nothing, it's just... Your crushes keep going up. Do you feel insecure? Yeah, I mean, a little. Three million girls is a lot of competition. Yeah, three million girls is a lot, but you're the only one on a date with me. And you're the only one that I see. Did you also just... <laughs> yeah, I did. The date was amazing. OMG, I saw you on TikTok. You're so cute. <laughs> did you just bark at me? She's a psycho. Are you serious? How do you have four million crushes? Hey, do you have a pencil I can borrow? Uh, sure. Here. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Why are you mad? I thought we talked about this already. Sorry. I guess I just want you all to myself. Such a beautiful day out today. Isn't it? Hey, cutie. Are you by chance single? No, he's not actually. He has a girlfriend. And it's me. Oh, really? Yes! Stop acting like this. You're acting crazy. I can't do this anymore. Why do you have so many crushes all of a sudden? I do? Really? How many? 200. 200? Nice. How was that nice? Says the guy with over 4 million simps. How did you do it? I, uh, I started TikTok. Let me see. No, no, don't. Seriously? You're posting thirst traps? 2,000 crushes, really? I have 2,000 crushes already? I can't believe I ever even liked you. How can you even be upset? You have way more crushes than I do. Yeah, but I didn't purposely get people to crush on me just to spite you. Look, I'm sorry. I was just jealous and I thought if I had lots of crushes too, we could be equal. Save it, alright? I'm leaving. Have fun with your simps. Yeah, and you have fun with yours. Stop posting thirst traps on TikTok. Very bold of you to say. Oh, would you look at that. Four million one hundred thousand. Four million two hundred thousand. Wow, your crushes are going very fast. Cut it out already. Who are you to tell me what to do? We broke up, right? This is getting out of hand. Just stop posting. I'll stop posting when you stop. Hey. Look, I don't want your critique any longer. I'm here to say I'm sorry. I get it. I understand how you're feeling. It's hard to see people fall for the person you like. It's my fault, too. I was being insecure. You know what I think of this whole crush soulmate thing? You covered my crushes. Yeah, let's not look at them anymore. They don't define our relationship. You're right. I like it. Hey, Mommy. Can I ride the bus to school with my friends? No, honey. I'll walk you. Okay. Hey, Mom. Can I go to the mall with Jessica? Her mom's taking us. You can go, but I'm driving you. Okay, yeah. 
That's fine. Hey mom, there's this school trip. Can I go? How long is the drive? About three hours. No, sorry, you can't go. Okay. Hey mom, I'm finally 16. Can I please learn how to drive? No. But both my sisters got to learn at my age. I said no. This is not fair. Hey girl, are you coming with us to Jackson's party tonight? I would love to, but I can. Ugh, is this about the whole driving thing? I'll take you. I have my license. You know what? Yeah. Pick me up at seven. I'll follow you into the park, through the jungle, through the dark. Girl, I've never loved one like you. Boats and boats and waterfalls, alleyways and payphone calls. I've been everywhere with you. That's true. We laugh until we think we'll die. Barefoot on a summer night. Nothing new is sweeter than it with you. And in the streets, you're running free like it's only you. Jeez, you're something to see Oh, home, let me come home Home is wherever I'm with you Oh, home, let me come home Home is wherever I'm with you You can only say yes. Yes. Sweetie, does this dress make me look fat? Yes. You really think that? Yes. You're such a disappointment. Do you know that? Yes. Giselle, will you do today's homework for me? Yes. Really? I wasn't expecting you to say yes. Will you do the whole week's homework for me? Yes. Oh my gosh, thanks. You're the best. Yes. Class, today we're doing a pop quiz. Yes. Giselle, you seem really excited about the quiz. Yes. Should we throw in a surprise presentation too? She better say no. If she says yes, she's done. Yes. Hey, babe, I think we should break up. Yes. Wait, so you want to break up too? Yes. You're cheating on me, aren't you? Yes. You can only say no. No! Honey, do you want some breakfast? No! But it's your favorite, chocolate chip pancakes. No! Are you okay? Should I call a doctor? No. Giselle, did you finish the assignment? No. Are you planning to finish it? No. And you just earned yourself detention? No. That's it. Go to the principal's office. Giselle, do you have a date to prom yet? No. I heard Chad's gonna ask you. No! But I thought you were in love with Chad. <gasps> Giselle, he's coming! No, 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 no! Hey, Giselle. Will you go to prom with me? No. Is that a yes or a no? No! Whatever, I'm out of here. No. Happy birthday, sweetie. Thank you, Grandpa. Honey, wait. You'll have to wait until you're 18 to open it. But why can't I open it now? Because this is a special gift. You have to wait, okay? Happy 12th birthday, sweetie. Thanks, Grandpa. Can I open my gift now? No, I tell you every year. You have to wait until you turn 18 to open it, okay? Okay. Happy 15th birthday. Thank you. Guess what? What? Only three years left and then you get to open your gift. Um, yeah, I guess. Giselle, you're 18 tomorrow. You'll finally be able to open your gift. Are you excited? I don't know. I mean, I've been waiting for so long. I don't even know if I want to open it. You have to, and you need to let me know what it is as soon as you open it. Yeah, I will. Happy 18th birthday, honey. You get to open it. Grandpa. What is this? Happy 18th birthday, you can open it now. Grandpa. What is this? Sweetie, I don't feel so good. Grandpa, are you okay? Just go call an ambulance, please. Hi, yes, 911? 
It's my grandpa. We'll be there as fast as we can. Just sit tight. Excuse me, miss. Are you Giselle? Hi. Um, yes. My grandpa. Is he gonna be okay? I'm so sorry, sweetie. We did everything we could. He's gone. I'm really sorry about your grandpa. Thanks. At least you got to open your gift with him. My gift? Yeah. So, what was it? I don't really know. It's a note. Well, if it was a note, I really think you should go read it. What? It's just a phone number. Hey, um, Becky? Did you end up opening the gift? Yeah, I did. What was it? It's just a phone number. A phone number? Yeah. I don't get it. Why would my grandpa make me wait until I turn 18 to open up a phone number? Are you gonna call it? No, are you crazy? I don't know who's gonna pick up. Giselle, I really think you should call it. You know what? I think I'm gonna call it. Okay, go ahead. Hello? Who is this? Um, this is Giselle. Where did you get this number? My grandpa gave it to me. I need you to meet me at this address, and I need you to come alone. Okay. The person gave me an address. Good morning, honey. Good morning, mom. What's this? Oh, that's the percentage of how much someone loves you. Wait, so you love me 100%? Of course I do, honey. You're my daughter. Hey, bestie. Hey, Jess. You only love me 10%? You're supposed to be my best friend. What do you mean? Of course I love you more than that. I can't believe you. Hey, babe. Hey, Jake. Gee, if your love for me is that low, why are you dating me? What are you talking about? You know what? I don't even care. It's over. There you are. Can we talk? Jessica, I already told you. I don't want to talk to you. Wait, I figured it out. Your mom likes you. That's not how much someone loves you. It's how much they hate you. Giselle, there you are. Can we talk? Jessica, I already told you. I don't want to talk to you. Wait, I figured it out. Your mom lied to you. It's not how much someone loves you. It's how much they hate you. You're making that up. My mom would never lie to me. No, I'm telling you the truth. Okay, look, I don't understand. Why would she lie? I have no idea, but I promise you I was telling the truth. I'm gonna go talk to her. I'll call you later. Mom? Honey, you're home. Can I talk to you for a second? Yes, of course. About what? Is it true that you lied to me about the percentage? No, I would never lie to you. So you're telling me that that is not a hate percentage, that's a love percentage? Okay, yes, I lied to you. Why would you lie to me? I broke up with my boyfriend and I almost lost my best friend. Well, why do you think mine is on 100%? Here you go. Happy birthday. A poppet? Really? How old do you guys think I am? Six? Stop complaining. You're lucky you got something. Thanks, guys, for my new bike. It's not even her birthday. So what? It doesn't matter. Don't be so spoiled. Yeah. This sucks. Congratulations. You completed the pink row. Power unlocked. I think I've officially lost it. Uh, I want my water bottle, but it's so far away. What? So this is real, and I actually have telekinesis? Hmm. Hey, loser, come watch me play with my toy. Okay. Look, it's flying! <gasps> oh, no! <laughs> Let's see what power the second row will give me. You have completed the second pink row. New power unlocked. This is gonna be interesting. <laughs> Jeez, do you knock? Mom wants you to wash the dog, weirdo. <laughs> okay, little bud, it's time for a bath. No, no, absolutely not. I will not take a bath. Yeah, this is gonna take some getting used to. I'm sorry, Fluffy, but I got to you. You really smell. Says you. See, now don't you feel so much better? No. But I do now. Hey, go check on your pet. Okay. 
Guys, guys, wake up. Tell your dumb cat that baths are not good. Yes, they are. Look, I'll even prove it to you. No, Chubbs, wait. Let's hope this next power is better than last time. You have completed the yellow row. New power unlocked. Now that's what I'm talking about. Can I have that? No. Aw, oh, come on. Just give it to me. Let go. What the? You're not the boss of me. Really? Okay. Go get me an iced tea. Right now. Okay. Why, thank you. <laughs> what? Why did I do that? Cuz, I'm the boss. Honey, take out the trash. Um, no. Tell Dad to do it. Bob, take out the trash. Ugh. Watch it, Klutz. <laughs> oh, you really shouldn't have done that. Oh, really? Why not? Do you ever hear of the saying, what goes around comes around? What is she talking about? Why don't you show us your dancing? What? I can't dance. Oh, no, you're just being modest. Dance. <laughs> Darling, did your creature name appear yet? No, not yet, but obviously it's gonna say vampire since you and dad are both vampires. Well, actually... You're not our biological child. What? So I'm adopted? Yes, we found you abandoned by the ocean. I don't understand. If I'm not a vampire, then what am I? Well, we think you might be... I'm a mermaid? <laughs> Why would you keep this a secret from me? We had a very good reason. Mermaids are extinct. You are the last of your kind. Guys, this shell just appeared on me. <gasps> the mermaid's mark. Cover it with your hair. Can't we just use makeup? No, darling. Makeup will not work. Let's hope the kids at Creature High will not notice your mark. Welcome to Creature High. Today, we'll be pairing up for a quiz. A quiz on the first day? No wonder they call her Miss Cruel. <laughs> <clears throat> Quiet. You two think you're so funny? Well, pair up together then. So, what creature are you? I'm a vampire. Sweet, me too. But my fangs haven't come in yet. <laughs> Mine either. I'm Draculogan. I'm Adrena. Okay, true or false? A mermaid will transform after getting her mark. Transform? Yeah, I mean, they gotta grow a tail at some point, right? I'm putting true. Hey, help us! Please! Can you hear that? Hear what? Only you can hear us! Please let us out of this tank! Don't worry, I will. Adrina, were you talking to the... What is that mark? So your teacher saw your mark? Yeah. Well, what did you say? I told her that it was fake, but now everyone in my class thinks that I'm weird. Darling, your hair. She is starting to transform. Am I gonna grow a tail too? Yes, eventually. I think I have something that can help. Here, drink this. What is this? A potion that will turn you back to normal. There's nothing in here. It is invisible potion. Drink it, please. Yes, it worked. But is it supposed to make you feel sick? Unfortunately, that is a side effect. If you feel yourself transform again, take a sip of the potion. Hey, Drackey Logan. Sup, Adrina. And you can just call me Logan. Did you dye your hair, though? Oh no, I have to drink my potion. What? What is going on? Listen, if I tell you a secret, do you promise to keep it? I promise. You're a mermaid? Shh. Sorry, but, uh, can I see that potion? Adrina, this is- Mommy and Daddy are billionaires, so I know it's going to be a hundred- Five? Honey! Quiet. I just want to know one thing. Why is our rich score so low? Sweetie, I've gone bankrupt. Bankrupt? But Daddy, you're a billionaire. He made a bad investment. I'm sorry, honey. <sighs> well, what are we supposed to do now? Just live like peasants? I can't let anyone know about this. Hi, girly. Oh, hi, girls. Um, what kind of bag is that? Oh, this? It's a designer Gucci bag. Is that a Ross tag? This? I just put that on there so people wouldn't steal it. Why is your score private? It's just so high that I, I don't want to make other people jealous. Please let us see your score. No! You're being sus. My daddy's in charge of these scores and I'm gonna have him make yours public. Mommy, Daddy, we have a huge problem. What? What? Well, you remember my super rich friend Ashley? The one who's friends with Elon Musk? Mm-hmm. Well, her daddy is in charge of these richness score scales, and she said she's gonna have him make our percentage score public. Oh, boy. What are we gonna do? 5% is like peasant material. 
I'm sorry, Pumpkin. I know this is hard. Why are my Gucci shoes in a for sale box? If we sell them, our percentage could go up. Okay, do what you must, because my social status is on the line. Good news, someone bought them on eBay. It only went up 2%. That wasn't worth it. I want my Gucci shoes back. Why did you have to go bankrupt, Daddy? Now tomorrow, I'm going to be publicly humiliated. I can't stand to see her like this. The truth is, Daddy didn't actually go bankrupt. You two lied to me? Yes, because we didn't want you to worry. About what? Recently, some bad men threatened to take you away from us if we didn't pay them billions. And you listened to them? I had to. Daddy, I would think you would know better. This isn't a joke, Pumpkin. I know these men. They would really come for you. Enough. Have they received the money? The transfer is still pending, but this is why our score is so low. Cancel that transfer. If I do that, they're going to get really upset. Cancel it right now, Daddy, or... Or I'm going to scream. Okay, all right. It's canceled. We have 100%? I can't wait to show the girls. It's not safe for you to be out in public right now. Daddy, I will be fine. Just hire me some bodyguards. Your score is going public in three, two... <gasps> what? You have 100%? Aw, and it looks like you both are only in the 90s. <sighs> Miss, we need to get you out of here. We have a code red. Who's that man behind you? Brooke, run! <sighs> Todd! How dare you? He was my favorite bodyguard. Are you Brooke Evans? Um, no. Take a... <gasps> uh, let me go, you jerks! Read this. Uh, I am not reading that. Yes, you will. Hi, Daddy. This is Brookie. Unfortunately, I have been kidnapped, and... I'm sorry, can we cut? The lighting is just so bad. Just read the script. Okay, jeez. Hi, Daddy. They are saying that they want 1.2... I can't read that. Ugh. What? I don't have my contacts. All right, that's enough. Ow. Send us the money, or you're not going to see her again. You better not have ripped out my hair. Be quiet, or we're going to get the duct tape. I'm hungry. Can you guys get me some Starbucks or something? Who do you think we are, Uber Eats? Back to being a peasant. Okay, guys, they transferred the money. Now let me go. Change of plans. <laughs> We're bringing you to a new location. But that wasn't the deal. Someone else gave us a better offer for you. Hey, Brooke. Todd, you're... Shh, quiet. They're asleep. Huh? Hey, what do you think you're doing? Get back. You don't want to mess with me. I'm an ex-Navy SEAL. What's that supposed to mean, huh? It means he's gonna kick your ass. I'd like to see him troll! Yes, Todd, get them! <clears throat> and this is why Todd is my favorite bodyguard. Here she is, Mr. Evans. Honey, are you okay? Oh, it was awful. They wouldn't buy me Starbucks, and they made me record videos in horrible lighting. But we're rich again, so everything's fine. No, sweetheart. We realize you need some discipline. Yep. You should have listened to us. Ugh, you guys are annoying me. Talk like that again, and you're going to boarding school. No, I'm sorry. You're going to treat us with respect. All right, I will. Hey, I just wanted to say I'm glad you're safe. Thanks, Todd. Mom, what's this location thingy? Honey, that means you're the special one of the family. Huh? One family member from each household is given the gift of knowing people's locations. Sweet. Cool, sis. Makes up for the fact that you've got no other talent. <laughs> Your brother isn't answering his phone. Where's my brother? He's at Jessica's, and I think we probably know what they're both doing. <gasps> oh, he is so grounded. Dad, you're back from your trip early. Uh, yeah, I am. Secret handshake? What? <laughs> Our secret handshake, we always do it when you get back from your trip. Oh, of course. Uh, honey, I'm so sorry. I'm just so tired. I'm gonna go lay down. He would never forget our secret handshake. I might be crazy to ask this, but where's my dad? Mm. It's him. Hey, you in there? Hi, honey. Oh, hey, dad. Mm. Is your phone ringing? No. Oh, really? Because I'm pretty sure I hear that. Who's calling you? No one. It was just uh, a video that I was watching. Um, anyways, I'm gonna go now. Hello? Penny, hey, listen to me very carefully. Dad? Yes, that man in the house is not me. Get your mom and your brother and get out. Wait, what? There's a lot more to explain, but... Hello? <laughs> come on, come on, pick up. We're sorry, the number you have dialed is not in service at this time. What? Where is my dad? 
Dinner's ready. Okay, just a minute. Hey, sis, thanks a lot for snitching on me. Come here. Get off of me, what's up? Shh. Something very bad has happened, and I need your help. So there's a man pretending to be dad? Yes. And our real dad is in a basement? Yeah. Your dinner is getting cold. Mom, there's something that we need to- Hey, kids, get to the dinner table now. Doesn't the food look good? Um, who made this? Would you believe it? Your father did. Actually, I'm not hungry. Ah, uh, Penny, come on. Well, I'm starving. No, Mom, don't. Mm, this is great. It's a new recipe. Can we be excused? You can, but your brother is still eating. Let him eat in peace, honey. But, Penny, it's fine. Just go upstairs. Hello, Penny. <gasps> Dad! You can cut the act. You know I'm not your father. Your mom and brother are taking a little nap. Where are they? Why don't you ask for yourself? <laughs> Where's my brother and mom? Where's my mom and brother? Where are you taking them? Who are you? Well, Penny, I'm actually your uncle. What? Didn't your dad ever tell you he had a twin? <laughs> what do you want with us? Your dad owes me a lot of money, and he hasn't been very cooperative, so I decided I needed a little leverage. That's where your family comes into play. Are my mom and brother... They're fine, and they'll stay that way as long as your dad cooperates. And what about me? Someone with your power can be very useful for my line of work. I think I'll keep you. Your dad escaped from my men. Ask where he is. Where's my dad? So, what's it say? It says he's in his car. Well, he's too late. You and I are leaving. I don't think so. Whoa. Penny! Hey! Are you okay? Is it really you? Yes, Penny, I swear it's me, honey. I just found your mom and brother. They're all right. You're safe now. Come on, give me an X. Oh, no, no, no. I cannot be a hider. My whole family are seekers. Concealer, please don't fail me now. Okay, let's see your mark. <gasps> yes, I knew Our it. Our girl is a seeker. Now we can finally tell you how the game works. So, of course, there's hiders and there's seekers, but everyone wants to be a seeker. The hiders are given a certain amount of time to hide, and then we get to go find them. When you find the hiders, do you... No, honey. <sighs> okay. We knock them out, and then we trade them in for money. What? If you turn in a family member that's a hider, you get a million. Well, I mean, that's kind of stupid, because family members, they are worth a lot more than money. Right? I'd turn your butt in in five seconds. <laughs> <laughs> Honey? What? You're sweating. No. You okay? Um, no. I actually think that I might be bleeding, so I'm gonna go wash my face. I'll be right back. Ah, oh, shit. I knew it. The makeup came off. What the? Ellie. No. You're a hider. I can explain. You little liar. I'm telling mom and dad. Kim's a hider. What? What? She faked her mark. I'm sorry. Why would you do that? Because I, I was scared. Attention. The game has begun. All hiders now have two hours to find a hiding spot. Go hide. No. You have to. Just don't let us find you. But hide now, damn it. Get out of here. This is my spot. I don't know where to hide. All the flights are booked and all the buses are filled. What am I gonna do? Shh! Listen, you're about to get caught. Hey, I said you're about to get caught. Come on, let's go. You're a seeker. You're trying to trick me. This mark is fake. If I were a real seeker, you'd be knocked out by now. Just play along. What? Shh, don't say anything. Well, well, what do we have here? You caught a hider, huh? Yeah, she was a hard one to find, but I finally caught her. We were just leaving, actually. Nah, she's not going anywhere. Don't touch her! Um, are hiders allowed to fight back? No, not really. Run! Oh, shit. Quick, in there! Whoa, wait, what is that? An underground tunnel I made. Now, come on! I am not going down there. I don't even know if I can really trust you. I've gotten you this far, haven't I? We have to go now. We'll be safe down here. Why are you helping me? Because you... Who gave you that necklace? My sister. Get rid of that necklace. Your sister is tracking you. No, she... she wouldn't. Oh, yes, she would. We need to keep moving. No. Excuse me? 
Yeah, I want to know why you came out of nowhere like like some ninja and saved me, but you don't even know me. It's because you remind me of my sister who got traded in by my family. They traded in your sister for a million dollars? Yeah, and from then on, I've been trying to protect all the hiders I can. What was that? They found my tunnel. I'll distract them. You run. No, I'm not going to leave you. Yes, you are. I'm not losing another girl on my watch. Now go. <laughs> Ellie, found you. You're it. Oh. Sorry, sis. That necklace led me right to you. Time to get my million. Nighty night, Kim. Time to get my money. Where am I? And what am I wearing? We're in Hyder Prison, and that's our uniform. They think we're related. Really? I mean, we do kind of look alike, I guess. You remind me of my sister, who got traded in by my family. Do you have a brother that's a hider? Yeah, why? Because I think I know him. He tried to save me, but my sister turned me in. He is so worried about you. There has to be some way out of here. After you get caught, you have the option to end the game, but if you do, you die. Someone has to sacrifice themselves to save everyone else. That's why no one ends the game. I'll do it. My whole family turned against me, so I really have nothing, and you deserve to be with your brother. No. Want to end the game? It'll be okay. No, please. Congratulations, your bravery has made you leader. Our marks are gone. You pick the next game. I'm a gummy, gummy, gummy. Stop playing. Gummy. Playing is against the law. You're lucky no one saw you, or else you would have been killed. Catch! Let's play! We're not allowed. We'll get killed. That's only if they see us. No one's around. Okay. Catch! Catch! <laughs> Catch! Catch! Were you girls playing? No, I wasn't. It was just her throwing the ball. I wasn't playing. No, she was playing too. No, I wasn't. No, Poppy, you're not allowed to play. No playing. Why do you have a ball? No, Poppy, you're not allowed to play. No playing. Why do you have a ball? Were you playing? I wasn't playing. I was just teaching the puppy not to play. Good work, kid. I'll kill the dog. No! Brianna, we're all gonna hang out after school. Are you coming? A hangout? Are you crazy? Relax. We're all just gonna talk and study. There's gonna be no games or playing. Okay. Hey, we should all play spin the bottle. No! I thought we were just going to study. We're not allowed to play. What are you, scared? Are you a chicken? No, I just don't want to die. All right, I'll go first. I can't believe you're actually doing this. Look at that, the bottle landed on you. That is not happening. Were you playing a game? No, I wasn't, it was Brianna's idea. Speech, what's this? It's a new thing started by the government. You're given a certain amount of words a day and you must use all of them or else. Well, I only have 18 words today. That shouldn't be hard to use. Brianna, how many words do you need to use today? 18. Wow, you're so lucky. I got 5,000 words I have to use today, so I have to talk super fast and I have to use lots and lots of words. Talk, 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 talk. Can't stop talking, can't stop talking. The day's almost done. Did you use all your words? Yes. These are my last words, too. Oh, no, 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 no. Honey, what's wrong? I got 100,000 words to use today. How can I use all those words? You'll have to try your best. I don't understand. I only had 55 words, now I have so many. What's wrong with your voice? I lost my voice talking so much yesterday. I won't be able to use all my words. No, no, you can do it. You can. I can hardly talk. I want to switch my words back. Hello? The government? Are you there? God? Misty, keep on trying to talk. The day is not over yet. I... I can't. Misty, I'm so sorry. I love you.
It's okay. It's not your fault. I heard from your best friend's mom she passed away. She couldn't use all her words. Are you okay? Yeah. I'll be okay. Speech? What's this? It's a new thing started by the government. You're given a certain amount of words a day, and you must use all of them, or else. Well, I only have 18 words today. That shouldn't be hard to use. Brianna, how many words do you need to use today? 18. Wow, you're so lucky. I got 5,000 words I have to use today, so I have to talk super fast, and I have to use lots and lots of words. Talk, 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 talk. Can't stop talking, can't stop talking. The day's almost done. Did you use all your words? Yes. These are my last words, too. Oh, no, 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 Honey, what's wrong? I got 100,000 words to use today. How can I use all those words? You'll have to try your best. I don't understand. I only had 55 words. Now I have so many. What's wrong with your voice? I lost my voice talking so much yesterday. I won't be able to use all my words. No, no. You can do it. You can. I can hardly talk. I want to switch my words back. Hello? The government? Are you there? God? Bestie, keep on trying to talk. The day's not over yet. I... I can't... Bestie, I'm so sorry. I love you. It's okay. It's not your fault. I heard from your best friend's mom she passed away. She couldn't use all her words. Are you okay? Yeah. I'll be okay. Your soulmate heart magnet came in. Yay! This isn't a heart. It will only make a heart with your soulmate. The magnetic force will pull you towards him, helping you find your soulmate. Wow. All right, kids, time to finger paint. Yay! My heart necklace is making a noise. It's the magnetic force pulling you towards your soulmate. <laughs> Ow. Your soulmate must have been somewhere close. Too bad there was a wall in the way. What's going on? My soulmate must be near. Take me to him. Hey, Bree, where are you off to? Can I come with? My necklace is taking me to my soulmate. <laughs> Why is it pulling me to the floor? Girl, are you okay? I found the other half of my necklace, but I didn't find him. Oh no, your soulmate must have lost his necklace. I found the other half of my necklace, but I didn't find him. Oh no, your soulmate must have lost his necklace. We have to find out who it is. I need to make an announcement. No, you will not. Attention, everyone. There has been a missing soulmate heart magnet found in the hallway. If anyone is missing their soulmate magnet, come to the office immediately. Give that back to me. You are in big trouble. I heard you guys found a soulmate magnet. I lost mine. Really? You must be my soulmate then. Yeah, I lost it back when I was six years old. Six? What? My soulmate would have lost his magnet in high school, not when he was six. No one else has been bored for missing magnet. Maybe I'll never find my soulmate. I hear a soulmate magnet was found. I lost mine last time I was here visiting the school. <gasps> the princess, your soulmate! You're my soulmate?